Hey DK, thanks for coming. My name is Ashley, and today's big idea is God uses my gifts to help others. Let's learn more about God and worship Him. Ooh, oh, I got the wiggles. How about you? Man, I got them too. Oh, I'm just a wormy squirmy. Ooh. Why don't we get some people to help us out? Or I like that idea. Who's got those wiggle wiggles? I got the wiggle wiggles. Who's got those wiggle wiggles? I got those wiggle wiggles. If you got the wiggle wiggles, come on, get your wiggles out. Wiggles, get your wiggles out. Everybody shake and shout. Let's wiggle. Get your wiggles out. We're dancing all the round now. Come on, wiggle. That made me tired. Me too. I think we should all sit down together. Ooh, yeah. How about it? Let's do it. One, two, three, sit down! Friends, it's great to see you. Did you notice this box over here? I wonder what's inside. We'll leave that until later. Today, I want to talk with you about why God gives us gifts. You know, like different talents, interests, and abilities. God gave us different gifts so we can show others that we love them. We should use what we have to make others' lives better. That's why we all have different kinds of gifts, because we all need different kinds of help. Sometimes, we need to be comforted. Sometimes, we need to laugh. Sometimes, we need good food to eat. Sometimes, we need someone to pray for us. Think about it this way. In the Bible, a guy called the Apostle Paul wrote a letter telling his friends how the church, you know, everyone who follows Jesus, is like a body. You know how the parts of your body do different things? You use your ears to hear. Your mouth can sing songs or tell stories. Your stomach digests all the yummy food you eat. And you use your brain to think. What if you tried to use your thumb to solve a math problem? It wouldn't work, right? No, because the different parts of your body are made to do different kinds of things. No matter what we need, God has created people with gifts they can use to help, and your gifts will help others when you use them. Let's say it together so we don't forget. God uses my gifts to help others. I 
when the church just started, right after Jesus went to heaven, some people were fighting over who was better or whose gifts were better. But God doesn't want us to compare gifts. God gave us all different gifts so that we could work together to help others. To help us understand, the Bible tells us to look at our own body. We are each made out of many parts, arms and legs, heart, brain, stomach, but all of these parts are still part of one body. That's how it is with Jesus. We are all different parts of one body, the body of Christ. Now, imagine that your whole body was just one big eyeball. How would you hear? How would you smell things? God put every part of our bodies exactly where they should be. And God puts all of us where we should be. And every part matters. Just like all your body parts need each other, we all need each other too. God made us all with gifts. Why does God give us gifts? That's right. So we can help other people. Let's pray. God, thank you again for the amazing gifts you have given us. We love getting gifts, but it is so fun to be able to give gifts to our friends too. Help us to use our gifts and for us to be able to see who needs our gifts. Thank you for all the people who have helped me with their gifts. And thank you for the gift of Jesus. Amen. Parents, find lesson materials in the description box below. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you next week.